And they were in college and they were fun and everything was having just a party. It was cool to be in that interracial relationship where you were still a black man, your own identity, your own person, your own being. But now y'all have been married 10 years and y'all got three kids and y'all live in the suburbs in that gated community and that whole white world, as long as they accept you, she's going to be happy. So you can be a black man, but not that kind of black man. You can be the black man that white people feel is acceptable and will allow them around their, you know, groups and social events and the PTO. To be a biblical conservative and a black conservative, especially as a man, you have to be tough enough to understand that your identity doesn't come from your skin tone or even from your ethnicity. It comes from your relationship with Jesus Christ. I say that because once you decide to think for yourself as a biblical conservative, as a black conservative, as a black man with conservative ideas, you got to be ready for the labels that come with that. Because in the black community, there's this hive mentality. And once you step out of that, once you break out of that, then it's like a gang. You're going to have to fight your way out of that mentally because you're born into this. Your initiation into this high mentality is that you're born into it. But then once you get revelation as to who you are outside of your ethnicity, outside of your skin tone, and you start to think for yourself, you start to understand that we have been programmed in the black community to think our power comes from politics. Our power comes from how much political influence we have instead of realizing that we have our own agency, instead of realizing that we are Christians, that we have the power of God operating in our lives. And when you start to realize that truth, you will be labeled a race traitor, a coon, an Uncle Tom. And you can tell when people say that, they don't understand who Uncle Tom was. You'll be called a sellout. All kinds of things. How much is Apex paying you? Being How much is Apex paying you? You race traitor? Race traitor? What? Yeah. Race traitor. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uncle Tom? Hey. 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 supporting a Jewish supremacist country. Outside agitators aren't allowed. You're working for a foreign entity. You yeah. Outside agitators. Get him out of here, sir. That guy's really old. Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Anyway. So there you have Congressman Byron Donalds, the black congressman from Florida. He's being called a race traitor and Uncle Tom when he went to the protest at George Washington University. Think about that. This black man who and full disclosure, I made a video about this last year about how black women were married at him because he's married to a white woman. Because of that, so you have to understand something. They already think if you are a conservative as a black man, you're going to be married to somebody that's not black. So automatically you're labeled as a sellout because you did that. And then if you believe in traditional family values, if you believe in traditional biblical values, if you believe that life begins at conception, that you're against abortion, if you're against feminism, if you're against the matriarchy, if you're against all of those things, you are now a sellout. You are now an Uncle Tom. You are now a race traitor. But the sad part about it is I haven't heard anybody come to Byron Donald's defense. I haven't heard any of these so-called black power folks come to his defense and say, nah, that was wrong for that dude who was not black to say that to him. But they won't come to his defense. You won't know why? Because blackness has nothing to do with your ethnicity. Blackness has nothing to do with your skin tone. Blackness is an ideology. It is an ideology born out of Marxism. It is an ideology that people use, the ones that want to destroy America through race, they use that, they've placed that in the black community to make sure black people are the useful idiots that they need to accomplish their revolution. And see, when you break out of that and realize that, no, man, I'm being used. I can achieve in America. America is not built on political. America is a republic, a constitutional republic that's built on a system of capitalism. I don't need political power to achieve things in America. Why do people come over here from Africa, Nigeria, and other places and achieve material success? They don't have much political power. Why do Cubans 
down in Florida. I mean, I was just in New York. I see all kind of shops run by Arabs and people. They don't have political power, but they seem to be doing well. The only people that have been tricked to think that you need political power to achieve things in America are black folks. Let that settle in. Black people have been convinced that the only way you can achieve anything in America is by having political power. Where has that gotten the black community in the last 60 some odd years? In a lower state than we were when we didn't have this mentality, when there was true segregation, when there was true discrimination, when we didn't think that we need political power to achieve. But listen to the hypocrisy of these folks that claim to be black power. I'm going to give you examples of white liberals, the white liberals, the main ones who claim to be against racism. I'm not racist, I'm anti-racist. They're the most racist people on earth. Just look at these examples of how they speak to black people, black police officers who they don't see as black because they are not protesting with them. That white woman had the audacity and the nerve to call that black police officer an Uncle Tom, a race traitor. Think about that. But yet you won't hear anybody from the black political class say anything about that. Here's another one. I ain't afraid of your mask, I'm going to tell you right now. You can't even talk to me like that. Like, you understand that? You understand me? There was, there was, there was a lot. Of I'm not going to put up with your mask. I'm not hyped on it. I'm not going to put up with that. Got that? Why are you talking to him like that? Why is he talking to me like that? Okay. Don't. Watch it. What are you going to do? You see that white boy had the audacity to call that black man an Uncle Tom. What gives them the leeway or the clearance to say that to black men? Because they have been told by the liberal elite and by black liberals that black conservatives are not black. Black conservatives are sellouts. So therefore you can call them whatever you want to call them. They're not black. Just like Joe Biden said, if you have a problem trying to decide if you're going to vote for me or Trump, you ain't black. I come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I it's a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. And see, there you go. That's that liberal hive mentality that has been implanted into the black community at large and is spread to the point to where you have 90% of the black community voting against their best interests. You have 90% of the community voting for things that destroy the community. But when you think for yourself, when you branch out, when you realize that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world, when you realize that you have the same mind that was in Christ Jesus, when you realize those things and you decide to think for yourself, be ready to be labeled a sellout, a traitor to your race, an Uncle Tom, and a coon. But that's okay. We're not victims. We are empowered for greatness.